Beneath the Clouds of Doubt, Grace's Unfaltering Faith by Reuben White Chapter 1, The Town of Serenity Valley In the heart of Serenity Valley, where the sun's golden embrace painted the world with warmth, and the river of hope flowed silently, Grace Everhart stood as the town's guardian angel. Serenity Valley was no ordinary place, it was a haven of serenity and tranquility, nestled among rolling hills and lush meadows. Its picturesque beauty was only surpassed by the inner peace it bestowed upon its inhabitants. Grace, with her shimmering auburn hair and eyes as blue as the endless sky, was a symbol of hope and resilience in Serenity Valley. She embodied the essence of courage, a courage as strong as leather. Yet, there was a meekness about her, a gentleness that whispered through the town like a breeze, touching the hearts of all who knew her. As the town's primary caregiver and counselor, Grace's days were filled with acts of kindness and words of wisdom. She would visit the elderly, tending to their needs and sharing stories of times long past. She consoled the brokenhearted, mended the wounded souls, and lent her ear to those who sought solace in her presence. Chapter 2 The Faded Song Amidst her selfless acts of kindness, Grace bore an internal conflict that gnawed at her heart, a melody without words, a faded song that needed to be rediscovered. She had spent her life caring for others, ensuring their peace and happiness, but she often wondered if she had neglected her own desires and dreams. Late one evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the valley in hues of orange and pink, Grace sat on her porch, gazing into the distance. She could hear the soft whispers of the wind through the leaves, a sound that had always brought her comfort. But tonight, it carried a different message, a reminder of the song she had let fade away. A gentle tear escaped her eye as she contemplated the path she had chosen. It was a path of service and selflessness, but had she sacrificed too much of herself along the way? Grace's faith in her calling was unwavering, but her faith in herself had wavered, lost in the echoes of a song she could no longer hear. Chapter 3 The Shadow of Doubt In the tranquil beauty of Serenity Valley, there resided an antagonist, though not a malevolent one. Doubt, like a shadowy cloud, would occasionally cast its veil upon Grace's heart. It whispered softly, like a deceptive breeze, questioning her purpose and testing her resolve. Doubt, she mused one evening, why must you torment me? My faith has guided me through countless storms, and yet you persist. Doubt was relentless. It crept into her thoughts, whispering that perhaps she had missed out on life's adventures, that her melody had been silenced forever. It painted a picture of what could have been, a life of her own dreams and desires, and it dared her to question her unwavering faith. But Grace, like a tree that stands tall, refused to be swayed by doubt's tricks. She knew that even the strongest oaks faced the fiercest storms, and it was during those trials that their roots grew deeper anchoring them to the earth. Chapter 4 The Approaching Tempest In the distance, a gathering storm clouded the horizon. The townsfolk of Serenity Valley could feel the change in the wind, the unease that hung in the air. A tempest, both literal and metaphorical, was approaching, threatening the harmony of their idyllic world. Word spread through the town of an impending storm, a colossal force of nature that threatened to unleash its fury upon Serenity Valley. Panic and fear began to grip the hearts of the townspeople as they prepared for the worst. As Grace observed the town's growing anxiety, she realized that her role as a beacon of hope and unwavering faith had never been more critical. The external conflict had manifested, and it was her duty to rise above the shadows of doubt and lead her community through the impending storm. Chapter 5 The Crossroads Amidst the looming storm, Grace found herself at a crossroads, a pivotal moment in her life. Doubt whispered louder than ever, questioning her ability to weather the approaching tempest. It tempted her to abandon her unwavering faith and seek shelter from the storm in the comfort of self-doubt. But deep within her heart, the melody of her faded song began to stir. It was a faint tune, but its notes carried a message of resilience and determination. Grace realized that the storm, both within and around her, was an opportunity for growth, a chance to rediscover the strength of her faith and the boldness of her spirit. She stood on her porch, her eyes fixed on the darkening sky, and made a choice. Like a ship lost at sea, she would navigate the turbulent waters with unwavering faith as her compass. She would let her faith shine like a beacon, 
guiding not only herself, but also the town of Serenity Valley through the darkest of nights. Chapter 6 The Unwavering Whisper of Faith As the storm approached, Grace's unwavering faith became a source of strength for the town. Her calm demeanor and reassuring words provided comfort to those in need. She organized the community, rallying them to secure their homes and protect one another. The storm finally arrived, unleashing its fury upon Serenity Valley. Thunder roared like a lion, and rain fell in torrents, threatening to flood the valley. But amidst the chaos, Grace's faith was unshaken. She stood in the center of the town square, her arms outstretched to the heavens, as if she could command the storm itself. In that moment, something extraordinary happened. The storm, as if recognizing the unwavering faith that Grace possessed, began to subside. The thunder quieted, and the rain became a gentle shower. The townspeople, in awe of the miraculous turn of events, realized the power of faith in the face of doubt and uncertainty. Chapter 7 The Reawakening In the aftermath of the storm, Serenity Valley emerged stronger and more united than ever. The external tempest had passed, but Grace had also conquered the storm within her. She had found her fated song and allowed it to become a resounding melody, a testament to her unwavering faith and the strength that lay within her. The town of Serenity Valley celebrated their guardian angel, Grace Everhart, not only for her acts of kindness and unwavering faith, but also for her ability to inspire others to find their own courage. Doubt still lingered in the corners of her heart, but it no longer held power over her. As the sun returned to kiss the earth with its gentle warmth, and the river of hope flowed gracefully through the heart of Serenity Valley, Grace stood tall, like a tree that had weathered the storm. She had learned that courage, as strong as leather, could be meek yet bold, that faith could be sweeter than honey, and that confidence could be a guiding light in the darkest of times. In the enchanting town of Serenity Valley, where the unwavering whisper of faith had triumphed over doubt, Grace Everhart's story became a legend, a testament to the power of belief in oneself and the ability to inspire others to do the same. And in that town, where the sun always shone a little brighter and the river of hope flowed a little stronger, the melody of faith was heard by all, a reminder that even in the midst of life's storms, the meek could indeed be bold. If you are enjoying the Key to Wisdom channel, feel free to click the subscribe, follow, or like buttons.